You've slept with her mother. What do you do? <laughs> Yo guys, Jack here. Um, I'm from Love Island and I'm chilling with Buzzfeed today and I'm gonna give you guys some love advice. What do you do if someone ghosts you but then comes back four months later and says, sorry, was just really busy. How are you? I can't lie. I've definitely ghosted some, some girls before um, and I have them pop back up. But then on the flip side, I've had a girl ghost me and then pop back up. I mean, give it a go with it. Give it a go, at least give it a try. Um, and then if you, if you feel a vibe, if you feel like the vibe's off and you feel like they're not, they're gonna do the same thing again, then cut them off. Don't give them a chance to come back. You're not a mug. Don't get treated like one. I know my boyfriend cheated on me, but I can't reveal that I know without saying that I looked through his phone. You maybe not bring up the fact that you know through his phone, but you say, look, I know that you cheated on me. Not say anything, because then his mind's rattled, right? And the more it's rattled, the more you'll get out of him and the more you'll be able to see how he reacts. What would you do if you love your partner, but you hate their family? Family is very important in a relationship. You know, you, you, you're in the house, you go to their family events and stuff, and if you're not vibing with the family, then it's gonna be a bit awkward, but in the same sentence, you're there to be with the person that you love, not the family. So you try and make it not affect the relationship. I would definitely make your partner aware that you're not clicking with the family. My girlfriend loves feet. <laughs> My girlfriend loves feet, but I'm super ticklish. How do I not deprive her of her love for feet? Yeah, I don't know, bro. You're going to have to hold that one, man. You're going to have to deal with it. Like, Ticklish, what are you? You're childish, you're childish. When is, when is the appropriate time to fart in front of your significant lover? We've been together three years and I can't take the bloating anymore. Depends how far along you are in the relationship. The first year, no, don't do that. But if we get to like year six, year seven, year eight, like you just kind of have to just accept it, innit? That, that's the way life is at the moment. But I wouldn't want you to feel bloated all the time. That's not good. How do you ask someone for space if they want to spend all of their time with you. you listen, in a relationship, yeah, you have to have space. Like, you have to have the space. And I think the best thing to do is just actually, actually just be honest. Like, I really like you, I really care about you, and I love spending time with you. However, you're draining me. But in turn, actually say, but that will benefit us because if we get too comfortable, it's only gonna go downhill. You're going to meet the parents, but when you get there, you realize that you've slept. You've slept with her mother. What do you do? <laughs> well, my guy, that there is a sticky one. That means that the parents are together, so the mum cheated. <gasps> the mum cheated! Yeah, that's a mad thing. Let me be there, I'll come. I'll just sit in the corner. I'll just watch it unravel. What do you do? I don't know, mate, you tell me. You tell me. The guy I'm seeing always says he's just bad at texting, but I always see that he's been online on WhatsApp. Do I believe him? Uh, honey, he just don't want to chat to you. I'm just going to say how it is. But then why don't you just call him? Why don't you just call him up? Have a conversation that way. I ain't got to be about texting. And then from the phone call, you can see the vibe. I fancy someone at work. How can I tell him? Email. Straight up. Email him. Banter. Or yellow, yellow post-it note. Straight on their screen when they've gone for lunch. Meet me in the toilet five minutes. Don't let them know who it is. And then when they go to the toilet in five minutes, just be there. My boyfriend is really bad at kissing, but I've never told him that. And I now feel like it's gone too far for me to be upfront about it. How do I help him to improve? Now, do we actually mean kissing or do we mean sex here? Subjective, yeah? Subjective, okay. <laughs> Maybe watch porn together. Maybe get some toys. Definitely don't talk about past experiences. Should you tell your partner that you have gotten with one of your friends before they meet them? Or should you just keep it a secret? It's a real sticky one. Now, let me tell you why. It's difficult, it's hard. It's really, you have to just read the situation. You have to be able to read the situation and know your audience. You need to be able to have a strong connection with the girl that you're with and just say, look, there's people I've slept with before you and vice versa. We're probably gonna bump into them, but we just, you know, be honest with each other. If they're gonna be there, let me know. Like, don't, don't hide it because then what else are you hiding? I broke up with my long-term long -term partner and then the next night had a one night fling with someone. My ex found out and is angry at me, but I don't think they have the right to be. Who is in the wrong here? My ex, your ex has every right to be angry at you. Your ex wouldn't have a right to be angry at you if your ex broke up, but 
you broke up with your ex and then the next thing I know, you're jumping in bed with next man. It's a bit raw. It's a bit raw. That's the way to use it. It's a bit raw. Um, it's a bit savage. I'm not going to lie. What should you do if you fancy your best friends? What's SO? Oh. <sighs> what do you do? I really don't know, if I'm honest. That is really sticky. You potentially lose both friends. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know. That stumped me. I actually don't know what to do. You know what? Fuck it. Tell. Tell the person that you fancy them um, by email. <laughs> <laughs> oh.